me cepillo los dientes todos los días. ¿Tienes un cepillo? Esas gorras son suyas. I am practicing Spanish today because I am engaged in a bitter battle with another person on the internet. You see, one of the things that I love more than anything is a good contest, a good opportunity to test and sharpen my skills against another person. We call it competition, and competition is a great thing for growing as a person. So I'll show you this right now in Duolingo, where I'm practicing Spanish, which is something I do to keep my mind engaged and have fun. I am currently in first place in the Diamond League which is the dumbest thing. This is like crazy cupcakes, right? Like level status right now, but I'm actually learning something. It's not just a mindless game. This week, I want first place, but I am going up against someone called Becky, and Becky is apparently very good at Spanish. She's been doing this for three years without skipping a day. And for the last week, her and I have been going back and forth in a fight for this top first place position. She's got several thousand XP just today. But that's the thing about competition. When you see somebody else who's coming after something that you want, it'll cause you to fight a little harder to get it. I don't know. I suppose that this is the reason I really like boxing. Mano a mano to go in the ring and see who really ultimately has what it takes. And who knows beforehand. At the end of the day, it's down to the person who's in better condition with better focus and hell. Maybe just the one who wants it more. When it comes to the world of premium cigars, this is one thing about this industry that has always like intrigued me because competition well it doesn't quite play out the same you see in most areas of life when it comes to competition you just go all out and maybe there's only one prize to be won hell that's the way a lot of jobs are these days you go and you apply and you apply and you interview and you interview and only one person gets picked for each of those available roles or hell maybe you're shopping for a place to stay that perfect house or that perfect apartment only one family's gonna get to move into that apartment and so people kind of do their best to put their best foot forward and give it everything they got but at the end, there's really only one winner. And the crazy thing to me is that there's so much more competition in business, even though there's typically not just one winner or certainly doesn't have to be. In most industries, there are a lot of different brands making a particular product because there's just so many consumers for that brand. Everybody sort of competes for market share, but they all fight like it's a bitter war and like there will only be one winner. Business is where you tend to see the more cutthroat things going on as if like we can't all live and exist together. It's an absolutely insane thing if you watch it in corporate America today. But this is for me is where the industry of cigars, the cigar makers and everybody who lives and works in this world stands out from the rest. See, premium cigars are an industry filled with people who have had to overcome innumerable obstacles just to survive in their lives. The current climate today of the world is certainly isn't supportive of the multi-generational families who are Latin American farmers and practice the art of making premium cigars. And for that reason, competition takes on a totally different form. While I see most industries have this absolutely cutthroat, like take everybody over and stomp on the little guy type attitude in the world of premium cigars there is this camaraderie between cigar makers and people at just about every level that I have never seen and in fact as I grow older and see more of the world seems unparalleled anywhere else you see, if you walked into your local brick and mortar, you would see a humidor where there are typically dozens, maybe even hundreds of competing cigar brands, all different cigar makers with different leases on how this art of making cigars should go. How do you craft an excellent blend? How do you create a reliable rolling process to create the best possible experience in a cigar that you can? And when it comes to doing this, all of these people are ultimately competing against each other. All of them want to figure out the best way to get the attention of the aficionados so that they can make as many cigars as they can and practice their craft. It's a very compelling thing. At the same time, 
I get to know these guys. You see, as I walk around this room, I don't just see a bunch of brands on the shelf. I see people behind each one of these. I look at one wall and I see Nick Perdomo, an amazing epic cigar maker uh, who's been doing this stuff for like 30 plus years. Or I see the Placencia family, five generations of cigar makers who have been doing an amazing thing as they continue to uh, cultivate land and train new growers. I see Southern Draw Cigars who are constantly working to make the process better and create amazing cigars in a veteran owned and operated company. I see Eric Espinosa, a guy with a particularly interesting lease on blending cigars and giving them this very, very consistent yet kind of kicky spicy nature. And I'll tell you this, not even all the cigar makers represented in this room like each other. Hell, there's no segment of the world where everybody gets along just perfectly and there's certainly differences in personality and hell, some of these brands have even history with each other. Some good history and hell, some of it's complicated and messy. But there's also this character aspect behind what each cigar maker does and who they are. Some cigar makers are great salt of the earth people and some of them are less reliable and hell there's at least a couple who are like I would call untrustworthy that I wouldn't work with or talk to or ever talk about in a video. But at the same time as all these people compete by creating the best quality and the best art that they can, I've watched the way that these guys operate and even though not all of them get along, I watch them get together and do the business of cigars with this one unifying factor. And that's the, in the world of premium cigars, we all have to compete against each other, with each other, for the well-being of the cigar community. This is the one thing that unites all cigar people. It doesn't matter if you're a brand owner, it doesn't matter if, you got, if you're a purveyor, you've got a factory down in Nicaragua, or hell, even if you are an aficionado who enjoys a cigar sitting on your couch at home. The world of premium cigars is always up against a singular enemy, and that's people who want to paint us with the brush, call us taboo, sweep us under a rug, and forget that any of us were ever here, enjoying a freedom that every age-qualified adult should get to decide whether or not they want to include in their very own life. Hell, I'll tell you this. I've been amazed at times as I've gotten online and seen pictures of cigar makers getting together for dinner and around the table are sitting people who I know can't stand each other, but ultimately love what they do together and still get along very well. It's something that, that to me speaks to the character of a lot of these great cigar makers that even though you do, you do the, basically the same thing, you're doing it in a way that you're trying to command the market and gain people's attention and you know craft something that's truly loved by all, you still understand the key principle. And that is that the fight is singular. Everyone is in it together. And I gotta be honest, I'm not sure there's another industry on, on the planet where that goes on. Maybe there is, there probably is. Somebody probably put it down in the comments and I invite you to, but certainly there seems like there's this common oppression that goes on over premium cigars that brings everybody together. Lots of different people with lots of different mindsets. Some of them a little bit on the greedy side maybe. Some of them certainly great, incredible people who, have, who are carrying on their family's legacy with a passion for what they do and a passion for your experience. But at the end of the day, we got what we got as an industry. We got a lot of incredible people working really hard to do a really good job. And ultimately, we have to do it together. Otherwise, we just flat out won't make it. I love that people in the cigar world are basically unkillable. It's one of the great things about us, but being unkillable in a huge way seems to be about understanding that if we do not come together and if we don't like unite, we're not going to make it. We are all stronger when we do this together. That's why you see large advocacy groups within our, uh, within our industry. I should have muted my phone before I did this because I feel like I'm like ranting today. I love this. That's why we see these advocacy groups within our industry that do incredible things to fight for and protect us. And the cup just off the top of my head are like Cigar Rights of America and the Premium Cigar Association, and there are more. And these groups are groups of cigar makers and cigar industry people who have already come together to protect our rights in incredible ways. Something that, you know, regardless of what anyone thinks about anyone else, and I'm not trying to like pick on a specific issue that's going on, it's really not. Everything's pretty calm and simple right now. But with regards to like 
everything that goes on and the people who like each other or don't like each other, getting along here is part of the competition. And that's a good thing. Like there are people certainly in this industry who don't really relate with each other, don't get along, but they also do a good job. The overwhelming majority of people do a good job of not engaging in this embittered battle that tears us apart and makes us weaker as a family of cigar makers and cigar lovers. And ultimately, probably something that everybody in our country could learn from right now. I mean, we aren't all the same, but hell, we can all get along. We're all human after all. And so I've been thinking about this a lot this week as I've been in my embittered battle with Becky on Duolingo or going to the gym and preparing for this tournament, boxing tournament in Vegas in August. I think about this because in those places, I want to do whatever it takes to win and win fairly. But it is all about getting the ultimate W when I go there. And I enjoy that. I enjoy the way that it makes me sharpen myself and fight to be better. And I certainly hope it does for Becky, too. But also, I enjoy that. And there's something about the way we compete in the cigar industry that I enjoy to a whole nother level. I enjoy the way that we all compete with each other and that we are all also ultimately in the same bucket. We're all the same. And it's something that gives us this commonality that's very unique. And I wonder, what are the competitions in your life that, that sharpen you the most? Because ultimately, in a large way, life is about that being sharpened to grow and change the things that push us to the edge of our limits to overcome and become better people. What is the biggest competition or the best thing in your life that's pushing you? Drop that down in the comments below. And of course, I want to encourage you to check this video out on the community on Cigars Daily Plus. Thanks for joining me here. By the way, this is a Southern Draw Cedrus. I love this cigar. Uh, thanks for joining me here. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.